Within her speeches over the past few days, we've seen her talk about abortion. We've seen her talk about Gaza, saying she will not be silent on the suffering in Gaza. What issues is she winning on and what issues do voters care about? Well, um, again, it's uncertain yet what issues uh, voters care about the uh, inflation, they care about economy and jobs, and they care about immigration first and foremost. These are the top three issues, and that hasn't changed at all. That's why I think the next few weeks will be very important from the Harris campaign to speak to voters in the terms that they want to be spoken to, not necessarily in the terms that you know the core of any one of the parties wants to speak to them. And an issue like abortion, it can energize Democrats uh, to come out and vote, but it's not enough. Um, it's not an issue that's front and center for most uh, Americans uh, right now, and therefore it will have to be broader, right? She will have to compete on a broader array of issues than just abortion. Dreeton, those were pain points for President Biden during his re-election campaign. Inflation, the economy, and immigration. Trump was winning on all of those issues. Because Harris was Biden's number two, or is Biden's number two, does she inherit those same problems, and how does she distance herself? She inherits all of the same problems. And again, what remains to be seen is, will she move to the center and try to win uh, moderate voters? swing voters, independent voters, undecided voters, especially in this environment when 25% of voters say that they might still change their mind and they're still listening to both of the candidates? Or does she move further left and panders to the hard base of the Democratic Party? Uh, a lot will depend on the decision that the Harris campaign makes over the next few weeks. And again, we'll be tracking it uh, very closely.